In this video, I'm going to explain why poster putty is one of the most important tools that you can have in your hobby toolbox chest. Now, I've talked about poster putty before. Um, if you've watched the video about how to hold on to your miniatures, I've mentioned it there. Um, if you've seen the recent pro tip about how to use paint sticks, I've mentioned it there. I don't know if everybody necessarily understands what poster putty is. So this is a little thing, a poster putty that I got at Hobby Lobby. I think it was three bucks. They have them on end caps all over the place. And what you do is it's a, it's a sticky putty that you just kind of need a little bit, get a little, and you're supposed to stick it in the back of a poster and then you can stick it to the wall without having to tape it. And it's supposed to be good for the paint. It won't peel off paint like tape might. And so, yeah, that's what poster putty is for. Looking here on Amazon, there are a lot of different brands of poster putty. Elmer's Poster Tack, Scotch Adhesive Putty, uh, Uhu Tack, uh, Duck Products Poster Putty. Let's see what else here. Loctite uh, Fun Tack. Ooh, that does sound fun. So there's a lot of different brands. You can get it probably pretty much all over. I've also heard it called Blue Tack overseas. And um, it's important stuff in a lot of different ways, and I'm going to explain that to you. So here's a glob of it that I keep around for mounting miniatures, the figures that I'm painting, onto... I use pill bottles, as I've mentioned in other videos. So you just take a ball of it, like this is just a little ball that's about the size of a small gumball. I don't know. And I'm sticking this to some old model that I found in the basement. Okay. And then you just take your pill bottle or your dowel or your paint pot or whatever, and you just stick it on there. And what I like to do is twist it a little bit as well while pressing down. Okay. That guy's not coming off. So now I've got this nice platform to hold on to while I'm trying to paint. And I can sit there and paint and paint and paint. And he's not coming off. I've got, sadly, models in my basement that have been sitting on pill bottles for more than a year and they don't fall off. Um, when it's time to get the model off, all you have to do, I like to take like a tool or something like that, maybe an exacto, and just help to, pe to peel. If it's been sitting on there for a while, it will be a lot harder to get off than what just happened there. But you just peel the stuff and then you just start peeling this stuff off. And then I find when there's material still stuck on the bottom of the model, I usually use other material, the stuff that I've peeled off, to kind of like attach to it and pull it off and attach to it and pull it off. And eventually I can get the stuff that's stuck on there pretty, you know, unreasonably, I can get it off eventually. So this stuff, poster putty, blue tack, fun tack, it, it's great for holding models onto whatever you're going to use to hold because you don't want to hold the models by the base, as I've mentioned before. But there are other uses that this kind of uh, poster putty is also really, really great for. Poster putty is also an amazing masking material, okay? So let's say that you are painting, like I just recently painted a bunch of um, Warriors of Chaos. And I'm not normally the kind of guy who, like if I'm painting Space Marines, keeps their guns off so that I can get it, the symbols on their chest and then glue their guns on after I'm done painting everything. I'm just not normally that kind of guy. But with these guys, these, you know, Chaos Warriors, they've got really big shields that they carry in front of them that would be blocking a whole bunch of their body if I didn't paint them separately. So here's the thing about painting models separately. When you do something and you paint the shields and then you paint the models and then you glue them together, if you're gluing paint to paint, it won't stick. It'll stick for a little while, but it will peel away really quickly. You'll be doing something and you'll pick up a model and move it and a shield will fall off. So what you want is you want the paint to not get onto the plastic in the areas where you want to glue those two pieces together. In this situation, the shield onto the guy's like socket in his body. So what do you do? You take a tiny, tiny little ball of poster putty, a little tiny one that you can't even see from here. You take that and you stick it in the little socket where his, where his shield would go and then you paint over it. You do your priming, you do all your stuff, and you leave that in there. And it's covering the plastic so it doesn't get paint on it. You do the same to the ball on the back of the shield so that you don't get paint there. When you're all completely done painting, you just peel out, take an exacto, you peel out the, the little um, ball of poster stuff, and you do the same to the shield. And now you've got a plastic on plastic glue 
you know, join, which is what you want. Because if it's paint on paint, you put glue in between it, I'm telling you, over time, it's not going to stick. Plastic on plastic with CA glue, plastic glue, all that stuff will stick great. So this works as a great mask for that kind of stuff. It can also be a lot of a mask in a lot of other uh, situations as well. So this is a picture of Uncle Tickles, who you see generally in the intro to this video. Now you'll notice his uh, lightning claws. They have a gradient uh, that goes from like white at the tips to like light blue as they go up on the lightning claws. I'm not that good of a blender, a brush blender, a wet blender. So I will guarantee you that I used an airbrush there. Now you may ask yourself, okay, so you used an airbrush there. How did you not get paint all over the rest of Uncle Tickles? Because he's mostly dark red. Well, this is basically what I did. I covered Uncle Tickles completely in poster putty, except for his lightning claws. Then I was able to airbrush and just kind of fade and get a little bit of a gradient there. And all the rest of the excess that went past his lightning claws landed in the poster putty. And then we didn't have to worry about it anymore. I could peel the stuff away and there was no problems. This stuff is designed to stick to paint on walls, but yet not peel the paint away. Now, I will tell you if you left this poster putty on Uncle Tickle's like overnight, I might be concerned about peeling it away and maybe pulling some paint with it. But if you do it for 10 minutes, 15 minutes, shouldn't be a problem. Another good use for poster putty is for camouflage. If you're trying to camouflage a vehicle, poster putty makes an amazing mask, especially if you're looking for that very organic kind of shape. You can take the poster putty, press it onto the vehicle. Like let's say you've already spray painted it brown, okay? Now you're gonna hit it with green because you want that kind of, uh, you know, uh, camouflage. If you press the stuff down to make these organic shapes, you can then use that as your mask and then you peel it up and now you've got that. Now, there's two ways to use poster putty as a mask for that kind of situation. One is to press it flat along the edges. If this is the edge of the, you know, we're looking in cross section here. If this is the edge of the tank, let's say, or Rhino or whatever you're painting, and you press the poster putty to be flat, at the edges, you will get a sharp line. So when you spray, you're getting a sharp line because the paint and the edge of the mask are very close to the surface and they just, you make yourself a very sharp line. Now let's say you want a gradient line, you want a blurry line. Well, then what you have to do in that situation is make yourself a snake of material. So you take some poster putty here, which I'm gonna have to get like this, and you make yourself a thick kind of snake sausage, whatever you want to call it, and you make it, I would probably go around the size of a pinky, depending on the size of your pinky, I suppose. And then you just make this, and then you lay this directly onto the surface, okay? So here again, cross section, you have this circle of poster putty. And when you start spraying it from above, especially if you're waving the can or waving the airbrush back and forth, it hits these edges and it gets a little bit of paint underneath, but not too much, but it keeps getting it in the spot where it always hits and then it fades out and then you get this nice gradient. You can see that here on the wings of my corn demon prince. He's got a very subtle kind of blend in his wings. So you see there, you've got those big snakes running down the wing ribs, okay? And the, the wings were painted black. And then I went back and I sprayed a very light, not a very light gray, uh, a very dark gray, basically, to make it very subtle. And then spraying back and forth with those thick kind of, you know, sausages of poster putty on the wing ribs, when you peel it away, then boom, now you've got a nice gradient on the wings. You can do that in a lot of different situations. You can do it with um, certain types of camo. You can do it with wings like this. You can do it with a lot of different stuff. It'll get paint in it over time, certainly. And then you can just sort of knead it and it will usually help, but eventually it will stop being sticky and then you'll probably have to buy some more. But again, like I said, it's cheap. So if you have some uses for poster putty, and I would like them to be hobby uses, not weird uses, thank you very much. But if you've got some uses for, for poster putty that I didn't mention here in this video, put it down in the comments. People can kind of check that out and maybe there's something that I missed. There probably is. But if there's something that you use it for, um, throw it in the comments and then, uh, you know, people can check it out. So yeah, make sure you've got some of this stuff. If you can't find it at your local uh, hobby store or your local craft store or your local department store, go online, get yourself some poster putty, put it in your kit because 
It's going to help you with masking. It's going to help you definitely with sticking guys to the things that you use to hold on to them. And uh, it's just going to help you become a better painter.